How's it going? Coach Josh here and today I want to talk about the truth about getting shredded, okay? So a lot of people strive to get abs and get into single digit body fat percentages but don't understand the hard work that it takes to do that and also how it can backfire in getting super duper shredded. This is something that a lot of fitness models, that bodybuilders, physique competitors don't talk enough about. And I was inspired to make this video because um, coach Greg Doucette, he made a video talking about this topic and I just wanted to share my experience. And he knows his stuff, he's very smart, and he doesn't sugarcoat anything. So that's why I, I really enjoy watching his videos. But um, I once got very, very shredded back in 2017. And I'll pop up some pictures right here. I got shredded for a competition um, that was hosted by Christian Guzman. If you don't follow him, he's a big fitness YouTuber. Whoever had the best transformation would win a cash prize. I went on a very hard diet, a very, very hard cut. And I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I had an idea on what it took to get lean. I knew the basic principles and I just wanted to prove to myself that I was able to accomplish this level of conditioning. I got into the single digit body fat percentages. I, I was probably around anywhere from five to seven percent but what people don't understand is for the most part throughout the day you don't feel too well when you're that low when your body fat percentage is very very low it's the worst when your body fat percentages start going down into single digit your body thinks that it's starving and what people don't understand is that your body wants to survive so your brain is literally telling you all day to eat. And it's something that it's very hard to explain. It's almost like something's controlling your mind, telling you to eat everything in sight. It's not that you have a, a weak willpower. It's that your body is strong. Your body wants to survive. And it's so strong at wanting to survive that it controls your mind to want to eat everything in sight. But if you truly want to get to single digit body fat percentages, there's a price to pay. It's essentially bodybuilders, the best ones who come out the most shredded are the ones who can suffer the most. The more you're able to suffer through a diet and essentially starve yourself to that level of conditioning, the more successful you're going to be. Okay, so are you willing to pay that price to get to that uh, that shredded look? In my opinion, if you're not obsessed with something like this, like bodybuilding, competing in, in a competition, there's really no reason for you to get that shredded. I'm not saying that you should stay fat and overweight and be lazy. No, you should always try to be better than where you are right now, okay? You can always be better. There's a point where you cross the line where it starts becoming very unhealthy. And unfortunately, this is something a lot of physique competitors, bodybuilders don't talk about. They just talk about the grind and staying focused and, and pushing through it. But this is not easy. It's very hard on your body. It's very unhealthy. And it's not natural. It's not normal for your body to be that lean. And quite frankly, in the fitness industry, the more shredded you look, the more attention you will get because that's what people strive to be. But being that lean is not healthy. I keep my body fat percentage low by eating healthy for the most part, eating calorie, eating foods that are low in calories but high in volume to keep me full. But what people don't understand is that the leaner you get, the more hungry you're going to get. You want to try to be better than where you are today. If you know you can be better, you're not giving it your all with your nutrition, with your training. You know, you're eating like shit. You're, you're training soft. You're not pushing yourself to the limit. Then that's when you got to start paying attention to that. If you know you can do better, then do better. Always strive to do better. But... Don't strive so much on achieving this 
certain look where that where you see these fitness models and these bodybuilders when they step on stage in single digit body fat percentages just know those people are sick and they're at their weakest and most unhealthy point they're on the the brink of essentially starving themselves to death a lot of times after their shows they end up binging on everything like what happened to me i started binging i started eating everything in sight i could have um approached it a lot better by including foods that are much more filling that taste good right that are low in calories but for me to get to that level i had to essentially eat a, a lot of foods that it's not sustainable to eat long term the current diet that you're trying to follow is something you can't follow long term then don't do it okay you got to follow something that you can adhere to for the rest of your life because that's what makes a successful diet okay if you're having to starve yourself and drain your willpower to get to where you want to get to then don't do it unless you're absolutely like obs again obsessed about competing or or, or getting to that level of body fat percentage, but just know that there's a price you pay for getting that lean. Hope this provided you with some insight on what really goes on behind the scenes with body bodybuilders and physique competitors. Don't get so caught up on achieving this shredded look. Strive on being healthy, being vigorous, being strong. You wanna make sure you feel good and you always strive to be better but not to the point where you're unhealthy, okay? Because too much of anything is bad for you, all right? If you're interested in coaching, then feel free to DM me, comment Vigor down below. I'll give you more information regarding my coaching program where I'll create a done-for-you meal plan, a custom workout routine, and accountability from me to make sure that you stay focused throughout your 90 days of me, of us working together. And hope this was helpful, guys. Catch you guys later. Peace.